settler violence continues to be perpetrated with impunity. During the reporting period, 383 acts of settler violence resulted in injury to 169 Palestinians, damage to more than 8,000 olive trees, and damage to other properties such as churches and mosques. Israel must protect Palestinians and their property from such violence. Excessive use of force by Israel's security forces operating in the West Bank remains a priority concern. Seven Palestinians died, and over 3,000 were injured during the reporting period. Four of these deaths occurred during demonstrations. Israel did not consistently meet its obligations under international humanitarian law during the 14th to 21 November escalation of violence with the de facto authorities and armed groups in Gaza. Specific cases are detailed in which Israel failed to uphold the principles of distinction, proportionality, and precautions in attacks. These cases relate to the killing of civilians, destruction of residences, attacks against media, and destruction of medical facilities. Other priority concerns within Gaza include ill treatment in detention centers, limitations on freedom of expression, and violations to the right to life. The de facto authorities should fix these problems by implementing the report's recommendations. In the West Bank, arbitrary detention, ill treatment of detainees, and the need to safeguard freedom of expression, association, and assembly are highlighted. In a positive development, I welcome the Palestinian leadership's decision to cease its practice of excluding or removing persons from employment on the basis of security vetting.